1836. This puzzle was composed in 1836 by the Italian chess composer and chess master Ignazio Calvi. It is white to move. What would you do in this position? And who was Ignazio Calvi? Well, he was an Italian soldier and he started to live in Paris and went to famous cafe, Cafe delle Regions, where most of the chess masters were competing. And he was also a chess master. He drew with Lionel Kiseritsky, and he was one of the leading players in Cafe de la Regions in Paris. Anyway, so let's check out. Did you find the move? Well, promoting the queen is not working, which is the first move that comes to mind. Because after knight to h7, queen to g8, attacking the knight, knight to g5, and white has to capture the knight, queen takes on g5. And what are you going to do after this position? Well, this is settlement. Unbelievable. Not capturing the knight is even more disastrous if pushing the pawn than knight to f3. Check. Mate. This is a disaster for white. And for black, this is a happy ending. So after knight to h7, maybe pushing the pawn, but knight to g5, queen to f8, knight to f3 again, capturing the knight, the only move. E takes on F3, a random move, and then F2, checkmate. Again, white is getting checkmated, there is no defense. So let's play something else, pushing the pawn, knight to h7, b5, knight to g5, h7, knight to F3, checkmate. So it is obvious that promoting the queen and pushing the pawns is not working, sooner or later, Black is checkmating the king, or managing the settlement, and saving the day. Can you guess the winning move? Well, not always promoting the queen is winning. Sometimes promoting the rook is winning. This was the move. Did you see this very simple move, but easy to miss? So promoting the rook, knight to h7, rook to g8, knight to g5. But this time, this is a different story, because rook takes on g5 is not settlement. If that was the queen capturing the knight, that would be settlement. But after the rook, king to h4 is possible. And then, black has a legal move. And black is losing. h6, king takes on g5, h7, king to g4, king takes on g2, king to f5. And promoting the queen, king to g4, queen to h6, king to f5. King to e5, and queen to g5, checkmate. There is no defense, and black is getting checkmated. What a beautiful chess puzzle by Ignazio Calvi. So you should not always promote the queen. Watch out. When promoting the pawn, or even in some rare cases, you have to promote the bishop or the knight. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.